Good morning traders, Richard Jeremy, quick uh, Ichimoku cloud chart and point and figure chart review of the gold futures contract here. Now, after a very nice period of consolidation, still in this uh, multi-month long base, which is kind of healthy, so there's two things here. Uh, looking for a breakout out of this consolidation base, it's now approaching the first level of resistance at 2394. The next one after that is 2449. So that's kind of the next breakout to, or resistance zone to watch out for. Uh, what uh, we can think of in terms of price symmetry here uh, is an upward continuation pattern that we've got this move pullback and then that move projected on top of that. And that would bring us, if we do a Fibonacci extension, that the first major uh, stop after this breakout would be at 123 at 2559. And the next one will be 138, would be 2627. And then a 50% move there would be up to 2683. So these are the long-term targets to benefit from this upward continuation pattern move. So those are the upside targets. Now, interestingly enough, we get some major support here at this 2286 zone. You can see it's also at the bottom end of the cloud. Yeah, it's also a major support zone. And we had a beautiful rebound from that cloud support there. So there was another beautiful swing trade inside that uh, inside that cloud chart rebound uh, move. Broke past the top end of the cloud. So that's bullish. As long as price action stays above this bottom end of the cloud, we're in bullish territory on gold. But any kind of weakness, we could see a retest of this double two double eight zone. But so far, these are the downside support targets and these are the upside resistance targets together with the upside projections for the rally when we break out of this consolidation period or this range. Next up, the point and figure chart review of the gold futures contract. I've got the high and low 1% by 3 point and figure. It's basically a logarithmic scale point and figure chart. Now we can see this beautiful rally, a strong rally, pulled back, and it did uh, pull back to about 78% retracement, just about the 61% retracement, that particular move. And then we had another assault at that resistance breakout. So it's now struggling to uh, rebound strongly from this zone, but you can see they did find support at key uh, point of figure chart moving averages. Uh, downside risk targets is about 20, 32%, 13% drop there or 14% there. So these are the downside targets, but they're only active once we get past this uh, 2300. That would then activate this target. So what you're looking at for is a O reversal to the downside that will give an indication that the uh, gold prices is, is reversing but we're very close to or we did meet uh, uh, you know getting close to these 2418 to 24443 uh, 2467 there's a whole cluster of upside targets here uh, briefly touched on those there uh, did meet those targets the next ones after that is 2542 uh, so we got a 6% away from that uh, next target and then we're looking at the next one 138 to 150 up here two six nine eight as well as two six three six so these are the upside targets and then a beautiful two thousand eight hundred seventy percent rally to the upside but that's only activated once we get past this zone of two four four three so once we break past these targets here on uh, you know significant price action then that would activate the 2008 uh, 2008 upside uh, targets. So get, gold can be in for a rally of about se uh, se 17, 18 percent, provided we can break past this uh, cluster of resistance in this consolidation period. But you can also spot the nice upward continuation pattern, move, pullback, move, and that upward continuation has now identified these upside targets for uh, key resistance to the upside. So that's the pointed figure chart to look out for. Just watch out for those reversals to the downside that will signal the end of the current trend. Just for the sake of interest, looking at things a little bit more intraday, here are the upside uh, targets on the uh, three hour, three by three high and low pointed figure chart of gold. So you can see there's a 2397 is the next uh, couple of targets, 2406, 2424, and 2448, and then 2463. Very close to that high there, so we need to get past that uh, resistance zone of May. But these are the short-term immediate upside targets for gold. Uh, that brings us to the end to this analysis. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading and point-and-figure chart trading. Bye for now.